good afternoon and welcome to our special afternoon tea workshop here ready for the jubilee so as you know supermarkets is just going wild right now online shopping it's all about afternoon tea it's about picnics and stuff like that so what we're going to be doing this afternoon i'm going to be going through all the different products that have got nutrients in nice and healthy that you can make a lovely afternoon tea with and then you can also make for your picnic so this is what we're going to be doing today going through all the products that we've got and how to kind of combine them for a picnic or for a magical afternoon tea now what i've got i've got some of these little paper cases they are like british style ones uh, so we're going to be putting some peanut butter guacamole stuff like that in there so again it looks quite visually nice um, and then for the picnic style we've got things like the cheeses which are individually sealed we've got some chocolate which is individually sealed as well so lots of little bits in there uh, which are really easy now the other thing that i've done on purpose is got all stuff that you can get from the supermarket and just take with you if you need to so if you think about all these uh, cherry tomatoes cucumbers peppers carrots there's no preparation so i've done this on purpose guys i know you <laughs> you guys don't like to prepare food especially when you're going for a picnic or for the jubilee something like that so this is why we've gone for why well, we've paid a little bit more and gone for more convenience rather than uh, homemade style so this is our afternoon tea plate and we will start to create it together uh, feel free to leave your comments and say on the table the things maybe you would really like uh, and maybe some of the things on the table which you wouldn't like what i'm going to do is just bring the table closer to me and hopefully you'll be able to see things a little bit more clearly as well so i'm going to save the top layer for our sweet things our dessert things which are over this side and we're going to start, I think we'll start with the healthy stuff at the front. So these are the carbohydrates, uh, also the things full of nutrients. So sweet peppers, let's add a couple of those. So I'm going to have one red, one yellow and one orange. So there's my sweet peppers. Cucumbers, do we all like these baby cucumbers? Let's get a couple of those on there. Now the tomatoes, because I've got a red plate, the tomatoes are not going to be visually spectacular. These are British tomatoes as well. So, so this is the British selection. Now this is where I might put my tomatoes in one of these little paper cases so again it will just look nice for the picture so I'm going to put that there and then my last little slot I'm going to use the carrot sticks so with the carrot sticks nice generous amount of carrot sticks layer them all up and again it's so much cheaper to make your own but as i said we are going for convenience today on this little afternoon tea so that is our carrots now what are we going to put in between so what are we going to be dipping our vegetables and things in now you've got lots of selections here these are my four that i've got today first one is peanut butter so what i'm going to do is get one of my cake cases and then just put a teaspoon if you've ever bought 100% nut peanut butter you don't have to stir it a little bit because it's got a little bit of oil on it so what I'm going to do is put my peanut butter in the case So a nice big teaspoon of that. I particularly like it with carrots. So I'm gonna put it near the carrots. Just making sure it doesn't 
all fall into one big mess. <laughs> so that, there is my uh, peanut butter. And I'm also going to get some pate. So this is just a just the bog standard coarse pate. And again, what I'm going to do is just grab a nice big teaspoonful like this, place it in again one of my paper cases. For those of you wanting these paper cases, I got these from Pound Below, or One Below it's called. And again, just throw that in there. So I've got my pate, I've got my peanut butter. Now I've bought some chunky guacamole. Now the reason I bought the guacamole, oh, the wind is blowing my props. There we go. The reason I bought guacamole, uh, they do do smashed avocado. So if you prefer just avocado, you can buy that. Guacamole is much cheaper. Uh, for those of you who are experts in avocado, uh, you also know that it tastes a lot nicer does uh, guacamole because it has got the lovely spices in, got a bit of tomato in as well. So again, not too much, but a nice big teaspoon of guacamole. Bev's saying hi. I know Bev loves a bit of avocado. So I'm just going to put my avocado next to the tomatoes. So I kind of think that's a nice combo, dipping that in there. Then the final thing, which I know is Bev's favourite as well, hummus. Just regular hummus. Um, Aldi used to do these really amazing little tubs of hummus. Um, However, they don't do them anymore. I think some of the other supermarkets may still do them, uh, but Aldi don't still, don't do them. So what I'm gonna do again is get the big pot of hummus and just put a nice big teaspoon in one of my cases. Cake cases. So again, a nice big teaspoon in there and then we have that is basically look our little savory bottom that we could have now just to add things up a little bit let's throw in a cheese so these are just a little mature cheddar and we are running out of space. So I'm just gonna put it on the top here for now. And we might have to do a savory uh, addition afterwards. I'm also gonna put a baby bell. So again, just a little baby bell. Just lots of different variety. I've got some Mediterranean style falafel. I particularly prefer the uh, other falafel, which is the Moroccan falafel. And I'm just going to put one, let's have two. Let's go wild. Let's have two there. Now, this is where I got excited today in Aldi because we all know about the frittata. This is a vegetable one. Uh, this is the quiche Lorraine one. But they've also done these two big new ones. Now, these again are frittata. Uh, which basically means a crustless quiche. On this side, we've got the spinach and cheddar, and on this side, we've got the chorizo and tomato. So again, just having something like this on an afternoon tea, completely delicious. Now, what I'm gonna do is save these for our pack up. So when we do the picnic in a minute, we're gonna save those individual ones. Obviously, if you're having an afternoon tea on your own, uh, then definitely get yourself one of these small ones. Uh, but if you are having one for multiple people, uh, then I would recommend getting one of these larger ones. Now, what I'm gonna do is get this big, 
the cheddar cheese and spinach and I'm just going to cut a slice. So again if you think about how you would get a kind of a slice of quiche on an afternoon tea that's the look that we're going for and I'm just going to pop that here on the top. Now I don't want anything to fall so let me just rearrange my table. I might put that back in. But yes, feel free to comment guys, what are you having on your afternoon tea? As I always say to my guy, it's not about the, you know, have the nice stuff, have whatever you enjoy. But just make sure you have some of the nutrient things as well, uh, which are going to keep you nice and healthy, keep your digestive system healthy and stuff like that. So, this is where you really need a three layer um, table. What I might do is make a little display, like I've put half my savouries on the top there, and then we've got space for the good bit. Now, we're all getting excited, aren't we, about the British strawberries that are in the house. So you could have some raspberries as well, uh, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use the strawberries. And I'm just going to throw those strawberries along. Now again, this is where I promise you, if you put some of these amazing looking strawberries here, people won't even think about where's the cake because these strawberries, we all know, taste amazing. And what do we need to add here, which is healthy, which is gonna take, make these strawberries taste even more amazing, that's fresh cream. Now, Aldi had actually ran out of uh, double cream, had ran out of cottage cream. So what I've done, I've got some double cream. My mum has whipped this for me. So imagine this is cottage cream it's actually just whipped double cream. Nice big helping. It's all stuck to my spoon. Okay. And again, put it in one of your paper cases. In the middle of the strawberries. And then, because it is the Queen's Jubilee, it is a bank holiday. Uh, I've got some of these little bars of dark chocolate. So I'm going to open these. You could just put the bar on. For the, for the sake of it being an afternoon tea and we want it to look kind of pretty, what I'm gonna do is open it up. Oh dear slightly melted because it's been in the sunshine so what we will do is open another one hopefully that hasn't been in the sunshine there we go the top one hasn't been in the sunshine and you can see this chocolate is in little bars and all I'm going to do is just divide this up round the strawberries I might even put a bit of the cream as well so again, you really feel like you're having a treat. Strawberries, chocolate and cream. Now, on a nutritional point of view, there's one thing that's missing on here, and that is unsaturated fats. Uh, so unsaturated fats are the thing that's in uh, avocado. So there's a little bit in the um, avocado uh, guacamole. Uh, it's in salmon, which we haven't got. It's also in nuts and seeds. So what we're going to do, you may have seen my almonds and my brazils that I had over here. And what we're going to do is just put some of these nuts around the strawberries. Again, just to make it look nice and interesting, make it look exciting. So there's a couple of almonds. add my Brazils
I'm really running out of space. We only need a couple, so I'm just going to put three Brazils. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to pretend, present to you my healthy afternoon tea. And what I'm going to be doing is sending one of my emails out with a picture of this, a full breakdown of the calories uh, and also a little breakdown of the cost as well. So if you'd like to see that, uh, you're on my mailing list, you will get this later on today. If you're not, go to jodybunting.com and subscribe. So that is the afternoon tea done. Next up, we're going to do our picnic. So, what we're going to be doing is the same thing again, but obviously this time, just make it a little bit more picnic friendly. So, we need to get our things stuck in this box. Now, there's some things we might not be able to get in the box, things like the cream. Um, but what we definitely will be able to get in is a chocolate. So, let's get ourselves <laughs> the important bits first. So, there's chocolate in there. We'll definitely throw in some uh, tomatoes. Let's put in a couple of uh, cucumbers. A couple of peppers. Just trying to make it look pretty. And definitely some carrots. Okay, next up, let's add some falafels. Again, falafels are really versatile, great for picnics. So we'll add three of those, just because they're kind of user-friendly when it comes to traveling and stuff like that. We can definitely add a baby bell. This is how we're looking so far. Baby bell. We're also gonna add another square of cheese. I feel like I'm doing a magic trick. Okay, right, we haven't put any strawberries in yet. So what I'm gonna do is just make some room just to put some strawberries in. And what I'm gonna be doing, now they're not gonna keep that well, the strawberries, so what I'm gonna do is just choose a couple of big, firm strawberries, just so that kind of looks pretty and then what I would say when it comes to dipping I've just remembered I forgot to put in my flag into my afternoon tea um, when it comes to um, the extra little bits now so we've got all our fresh ingredients there's two things which I will add I will add the frittata um, and what you would do that is obviously just take it with you. You don't need to put it in the box there because, uh, again, it's nice and user-friendly in there. And then what I would also do there is choose one of your favourite dips. So it could be that you love pate, take the whole thing. It could be you like guacamole, take the whole thing. However, I am going to choose hummus. And what I'm going to do is take that whole thing with me so I've got this, I've got this, I've got my box of delights, and this is my perfect healthy picnic. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you can hear me by the way, because of all the wind. Uh, but this is my suggestion for your afternoon tea and also for your picnic. So make sure you've got all those nutrients in, uh, but also don't be boring as well. So you've got the nice frittata, you've got the nice hummus, and you've got those lovely things ready to dip in your hummus as well. You've got your dark chocolate with your strawberries. For a picnic, it's obviously not so good to uh, have cream. So, I have got something down here which you will love, and that is a lemon posset. So the lemon posset is, again, really famous at this time of year. It is the official dessert of the Jubilee. So I'd also take that along. Oh. So these are our perfect pairings for our picnic. So that's it guys, thank you for joining me. Those were my suggestions for your Jubilee celebrations. And again, the emphasis is just to get things that are full of nutrients. And that way, you'll be able to have a guilt-free but delicious Jubilee party.
Ta-da! <laughs> if you've got any questions, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave them under this video and I'll get back to you. But now, somebody's got to eat all this. Bye.